In this video, we'll take a look at how you can manage your location profiles in your SiteDocs account. First, we'll select Locations from the menu, and we'll be taken to the Locations page, which lists all of your active locations. Before we get too far into this video, let's talk about how locations work in your SiteDocs account. Locations are used to set up how your documents are organized in your SiteDocs account. When a form is signed, it's automatically saved to the worker profile of anyone who signed it, as well as the location profile they were signed into when they signed the form. This is one of the ways that we make sure your documents are easy to find and impossible to delete. Typically, locations are used for things like job names or physical locations where your employees are working. However, locations are pretty flexible, so think about them more like groups or folders for your documents. Some other uses we've seen include crew names, shift types, or even a piece of equipment so that you can assign an inspection to a specific vehicle or tool. At the top of the page, you'll see a couple of options to help you find the location profile you're looking for. First, we have a drop-down menu that will allow you to change your view type. You can select Show All, Show Active, or Show Inactive. We also have a handy search bar where you can type the name of the location to find the profile you need quickly. When you're done with a location profile, you can move it from active status to inactive, which means that the location profile will be hidden from your workers' devices and the form signed there will be hidden from your signed document report as well. Don't worry, they will never be fully deleted, just temporarily hidden from the page. To mark a location inactive, select the bubble next to the name of the location or locations that you wish to mark inactive, and select Set Inactive from the bar at the top of the screen. If you ever need to mark the location active again, simply select Show Inactive from our view selector and repeat this process, but this time select Set Active. Let's create a new location. I'll select the New Location button and give my new location a name. If I select Create and Edit, we'll be taken to a page where we can edit the details of this location profile. We're going to go over that a little bit later, so for now I'm going to skip that step and just select Create. You may have noticed that I spelled part of that location name incorrectly. That's okay. I can select Edit to remove any part of this title and correct my spelling mistake, and just click away to save my changes. Now that our location is created, we have to manage who can see and interact with the location profile from their mobile app. First, we have the visibility column. This controls who can see the locations in your account. You have two options, all workers or only workers assigned. Choosing all workers means that every worker who has app access in your account will have access to this location profile in their application and any new workers added in the future will see this location automatically. Only workers assigned means that this location is a bit more private and can only be viewed by specific workers. I'll go over how to assign workers to a location in just a minute. We can also set the default visibility for all locations at the bottom of the locations page. Finally, we can assign the same visibility to multiple locations by selecting the bubble next to each profile name or selecting the top bubble to select them all, selecting set visibility in the top bar and picking the visibility level we want. The next column we have in this page is our workers assigned column. This is a quick place to assign workers to your location profile, like I mentioned a bit earlier. The main difference between being able to view a location and being assigned to it is that when a worker is assigned to the location, the workers with the right permissions can view their emergency contact information and certifications from their SiteDocs application. They will also show up in the certificates on SiteLink, Simply click the plus button to see a list of workers and select the ones that you want assigned to the location. The last column on the page is the location chat column. This gives you the ability to select up to 200 location profiles that will have a location chat made for them in your chat tab. Simply select the bubble to create the chat. We have another video that goes over chat in detail, so please check that out if you haven't already. 
Now that we've talked about the basics of the locations page, let's take a look inside a location profile. So I'll select the location name. This is going to take me right into the page where I can add more details about this location for my admins to use. I can add a description, an address, a start date, and even an end date if I already know it. And then we can take a look at the navigation tabs, which will allow us to customize the different parts of our location profile. First, we have workers assigned. This is a comprehensive list of every worker that's currently assigned to this location. There's a button to assign or remove workers to this location, or we can select the bubbles next to the existing worker to remove them from the main page. If we scroll down, there's also a list of workers that were previously assigned to this location and have been removed. Next is certifications on site. This page contains an automatically generated link to a public page that holds the information of every certification of every worker assigned to this location. Because this link is public, you can use it to send certification information to general contractors, subcontractors, auditors, or even customers. If you'd like to revoke access to this page, simply select New Link to create a new randomized link and make the older links go dead. The next tab is Customize App Menus. This is where you can set up custom menus for your forms and resources that are specific to just this location. This can be super handy for forms that only need to be filled out at certain jobs or for uploading resources that are site specific like parking maps or location emergency contacts. You'll notice that the documents from the master menu are blue and gray, but the location specific items are colored purple to set them apart. Next, we have the sign documents tab. This page contains a list of every document that has ever been signed at this location, grouped by form name. Because location profiles are permanent, you will always be able to find your signed documents here, no matter how other pages might be filtered. The last tab on this page is Auto Share. From this page, you can set up form sharing to people outside your SiteDocs account. If you select Add Recipient, you have two options for sharing. Auto sharing directly into another SiteDocs account that's requested forms from you, or you can set up an automatic email that will send a PDF copy of the signed forms that you select to the email address that you enter. This way you don't have to worry about manually distributing forms to other contractors that you might be working with. And that's all there is to it. You can see we've given you a lot of tools to help you keep track of your documents and share them with the people you're working with. If you have any questions about location profiles or anything else in your SiteDocs account, please feel free to reach out to our incredible support team at support at sitedocs.com.